Okay, we're back live here in uh, Santa Clara, California. We are here at the Velocity Conference. I'm John Furrier, the founder of SiliconANGLE. This is the, the wrap up, or one segment for our wrap up here at Velocity Conference. This is theCUBE, with the flagship program. We've got through the advanced to try to simple the noise. I'm joined by my co-host. I'm Dave Vellante of wikibon.org, and I'm going to use this time to say, go to wikibon.org, check out all the research. You'll see a bunch of stuff we did in the industrial internet. You'll see a, a bunch of things that we're doing around DevOps. Search for Munder Capital uh, on Wikibon and you'll see a great case study on, on DevOps, very relevant to this show. Go to siliconangle.com, you'll see all the blogs from this event, and check out youtube.com slash siliconangle for the playlist of, of this event and other events that we, we've done. Chris Hunziker is here, he's the Director of Content and Digital Media at Equinix. Chris, welcome to theCUBE. Great, thank you. Equinix, you guys are like, Everywhere, it's unbelievable. We, we were at the AWS show, we saw you there. We just did, John just did a post on, uh, on, uh, on <laughs> work the, the Amazon Workday, <laughs> right. HP thing. They're hosting on you, Lo right? and behold, there's Equinix, you know, doing yeah. that. Everywhere we look, enterprises are, you know, they want super high availability, they want high performance, they want scale, and Equinix seems to be there, so it seems like you guys are doing a great job, but give us a lowdown. All right, so Equinix is a global carrier neutral data center provider. And uh, our proposition is that it's not enough just to go ahead and offer premium services in terms of having very good reliability or cooling or connectivity, but that you also need to go ahead and offer customers choice. And that's what we try to do with over 95 uh, locations, over 900 networks, and over 500 cloud service providers. So talk more, more about choice. Choice is, is what, ge geographic choice? Uh, choice of service level, what do you? Let's unpack that a little bit. What right. do you mean by choice? So it's kind of a lot of those things. So uh, in order to go ahead and get the best performance, you need a couple of different factors. So you need to go ahead and be in the right location and you need to be connected to the right network providers. So you need to know about who your customers are and what they want to do with your application and then optimize your network and your connectivity to go ahead and best support them. So what are you seeing? What are customers telling you about uh, you know, their demands? Everybody's concerned about the cloud, mm -hmm. um, they're concerned about SLAs, they're concerned about securities. I'm, I'm security, I'm sure you're hearing some of the same things, but, but uh, tell us what, what they're telling you, asking you for, put it in your parlance, and how are you helping solve those problems? Well, I think what we're seeing is kind of a lot of opportunity because of the development of the cloud and all these great services. These companies are able to go ahead and architect these really nice solutions in a way that they haven't been able to do before by cross-connecting directly to these cloud providers, uh, cross-connecting to CDM platforms, uh, being connected to the right networks. They can go ahead and get performance and scale and add a price model that they might not have been able to do so before. So how are they architecting you know, the solutions? You're, you're Obviously one piece mm -hmm. of it. Um, right. What's a, take us through it, I mean there's no average or typical, but, but what is a sort of a common uh, deployment and architecture? So, uh, there, like, like you say, there's definitely a lot of different models. And so what we've seen with a bunch of companies is sort of the original application was developed and then it sort of taken off and exploded. And so we actually had a speaker today, uh, Meet Me, that we had been working with. And that was kind of the case is they uh, had an initial solution and then it became very popular and they knew that they needed to scale. It's actually scaled 300% in the last year. So they knew, knew that they needed to go ahead and grow out and develop their overall solution. And so we were able to work with them and talk with them about how their traffic uh, was being used, where it was coming from, where it was going to, and help recommend to them uh, which uh, carriers they could use to best optimize their traffic, get overall better performance, and actually even uh, reduce down a little bit of their cost. So content in digital media is, yes. in, your, is in your title, so that's obviously your area. So what, what is that specifically, and what are the particular demands on that side of the business that are unique? So what I do is I work with a lot of the uh, different companies out there, sort of the search engines, the gaming companies, the streaming media companies, and try to help them um, meet their goals in terms of performance and overall capability, um, help to sort of connect them uh, to the different service providers. Like a lot of companies want to connect to Facebook now, and they can go ahead and do that through our exchanges to be able to go ahead and get that optimum performance. So, you know, basically overall helping them uh, build those solutions. And a lot of your customers want to connect with, with Amazon as yes. well. And so talk about that a little bit. Right, so um, we have a partnership with Amazon, a great company, and they have a Amazon Direct Connect solution. So the concept is that a lot of companies want to use the Amazon public cloud, but uh, one of the difficulties with that is accessing that cloud over public IP. So if you need to shift a lot of data in and out of there, a lot of companies would prefer to do that in a more direct fashion. 
So by coming to Equinix, you can get a direct connect to the uh, Amazon public cloud, and then be able to go ahead and securely and quickly just uh, get that content back and forth. So you co-locate proximate to an AWS <coughs> data center, so yeah. that the yeah. speed of light is not as much is not as problematic. Is right. that correct? Well, we work with Amazon so that customers can actually go ahead and get across connect directly from their cage into the uh, Amazon infrastructure. Yeah, but one of the advantages of yeah. uh, correct me if I'm wrong is yes. that you guys are physically proximate right. to the yes. Amazon data because you've got so many data centers around the world, right? So right. it makes Equinix a unique provider and partner in that regard. Is that true? Or correct, correct. Yeah. That the, our uh, infrastructure and resources are close together so that you get low um, millisecond latency by doing that direct cross-connect. Yeah, because yeah. John, as you know, when you're moving a lot of data, it's, uh, I always yeah. say, the Chevy truck is the fastest way to move it. <laughs> Chris, I got I to gotta ask you though, I mean, one of the things we've been tracking, obviously, bare metal, standing up bare metal mm -hmm. uh, servers has always been what people do, and that, that's been the way. And, you know, we talk about gaming companies, Zynga started on Amazon, then they realized, well, we better have our own bare metal. So they right. had to build their own uh, colos and data centers as well. So, so the, that, the balance now, you know, mm -hmm. large companies, I mean, that's always the, the fluke, you know, that someone builds on Amazon, goes to be, you know, Twitter did the same thing. So, right. so but for existing companies that, that need to have that colo, mm -hmm. they need to have that bare metal, need to have the data center capabilities, they need all those benefits, but still want to use cloud. What are you seeing as the dynamic right now between the bare metal and the cloud? What are the key pressure points? What are the, what's the market forces? What, what can you share there? All right, so what I see is sort of, the overall concept is again kind of about choice. So there's not going to be any one solution that works for any of these companies, but I think the, the really good option is that these companies could go ahead and choose to use um, public cloud as makes best sense for them, and then they can also go ahead and deploy solutions within Equinix that makes sense for them. And so we've actually got a really good case study um, done by Badgeville, which is up on our website that talks about how they started out in uh, Amazon, and then they needed to get a little bit faster performance on their specific database service. So what they ended up doing is deploying specialized hardware within Equinix, and then using that direct connect uh, with Amazon so they could go ahead and leverage public cloud while also getting that uh, excellent database performance. So what are you guys doing here at Velocity? Uh, uh, well, we're all about performance and also um, you know, innovation and connectivity and this is where the great conference is where all the industry leaders are so we come to go ahead and share our message, talk about these concepts and you know, continue to support them. So is the web getting faster? <laughs> Um, it's getting more interesting. There's definitely a lot more content going over it. Um, you know, with all the increase in streaming video, I think the jury may be out overall on the long-term perspective, but it's definitely uh, fun to watch. All right, Chris. Well, listen, yeah. thanks very much for stopping by theCUBE okay. and uh, appreciate your perspectives. Uh, good luck. Thank you. Okay, this is theCUBE. We are here at Velocity Conference. Stay with us for our day one wrap up after this short break. Dave and I will break down day one and we'll call it a day and we'll see you tomorrow. But stay with us for the wrap up after this short break. This is Silicon Angle and Wikibon's exclusive coverage of the Velocity Conference live here in Santa Clara, California. We'll be right back.